Beautiful Souls is coming at Soul Magic 99 and today I'm doing a reading which is the hidden messages of the heart, divine masculine and divine feminine. So we're going to find out from both what they feel for the other at this time. So pile one is the masculine and pile two is the feminine. I just want to say a really big thank you to everybody for watching my videos, for liking, sharing, subscribing and commenting. It means a lot to me so thank you so much. So let's go on with your messages. So first off, we're going to start with how he sees his feminine right now. So you give him hope, you know, hope for the future. And maybe he'd lost all hope in love, you know, through difficult circumstances in the past um, where love didn't work out, but you've given him renewed hope in love at this time. He also sees how creative you are, you know, how very creative you are in the world and how connected you might be to Mother Gaia as well. You know, you love plants, nature, animals, and maybe you're an activist in that way, and that's really inspired him as well. He needs that release. <laughs> um, he needs that sexual release with you. He's really feeling that passion bound mountain at the time, and he, but he doesn't want to come forward in just a sexual way, so he's very torn at this time, very... You know conflicted about what he should do he wants to have that equality with you he sees that you could be equals in your relationship the balance of the masculine and feminine and he wants that in a relationship moving forward and he sees that in you the potential to have that with you he feels this deep connection with you he really does from the word go even though he may not have admitted to it or even told you that he felt this connection but he really did feel this deep connection with you when you met okay he's working on his throat chakra right now i feel there is communication issues a lot of uh, connections are not in contact right now and i do feel a lot of the masculines having issues with the throat chakra um, they're having trouble speaking up, speaking their truth. So they need to do the work on this area and release that. You know, they may have blockages in that area which they need to work on and release so that communication can start up again because without communication, you know, in a relationship, it's, it's not very easy to have a relationship with somebody that you can't actually communicate with. So how else does he see the connection? We've got heart at the moment. So... He feels that very deep love for you. I mean, the colours of this card is, is the base chakra, the root chakra. So I do feel you make him feel at home when you've been with him. You feel you make him feel more grounded. But he does feel that heart space connection with you very strongly. He sees you as a very graceful person. You, you have that grace, the way you live your life in the world, the way you move around the world and your attitude to people and situations you you live with grace and again he really admires that about you he's working on a strategy right now um you know this is to do with his inner work and this is to do with making contact in the future as i said he needs to work on his throat chakra and he needs to, you know, for his own confidence, he's working on some sort of strategy before he can come forward. He needs to feel confident in himself of who he is and what he's representing to you. And he's fearful of rejection and he wants to feel in a place where he doesn't fear rejection at any time and is able to come forward to you in a positive way. Yeah, he wants to start this journey with you. You know, we've got the number two here. He does want to go on this journey through life with you. He's almost ready to go on this journey. But he's got a few more loose ends to tie up, basically, at the moment. But he does want to go forward fearlessly with you and forget about the past and, like, the full card and just move into the future, take that leap of faith into a new beginning. We've got balance. Yeah, he needs balance in his life, you know. He needs to balance those energies within him as well. It's possible his energies are not balanced, like masculine and feminine energies. He could be very much in the masculine 
and needs to balance out with more of the feminine energy so he's working on this right now and you know obviously positive and negative within you know you can never be all positive we all have the dark side within us we need to find the balance within us you know you're never going to abolish all the dark side we need to find that balance and he's going through recovery so he could have been have have some health issues okay some something has really dragged him down i feel um in life something has really affected him and he's he's in a recovery phase and he's probably doing some healing work within as well this could be linked to past issues and again he needs to resolve these issues before he can move forward with you okay he not, he wants you to forgive him he feels that he didn't act in the best way in this connection and he really hopes that you can forgive him and he's also working on forgiveness for himself for his actions in this connection and forgiveness for other actions he's done in the world and also work on forgiveness for people that have done him wrong and hurt him forgiveness isn't about excusing people's behavior at all it's it's about giving yourself permission to move on and again he needs to detach from these past negative situations to allow himself to move on Ty take time to breathe out yeah he could have been very stressed right now um feeling anxious and anxiety you know hyperventilating maybe he needs to do like a full moon meditation or a meditation at any time which is breath work where you do the slow deep breaths in and out to help him to relax himself because i do feel he's feeling quite stressed out at the moment okay He, he knows that his commitment to this connection is being tested right now and his commitment to you and you know it is a big test it's a test for both of you you know are you going to stay the course are you going to you know see this connection out to the bitter end as it were are you going to wait for each other well not wait but just be there when the time comes for you to reunite so the commitment between you both, the unconditional love, if you like, is being tested to the utmost at this time, okay? He sees this connection as true love for him, the romance of a lifetime. He may not have felt this way about anybody else. And it took him by surprise. Maybe when you met, it was quite a casual meeting. He wasn't expecting anything of it. And, you know, then this this deep love came into his being and this deep feelings and he may not have even admitted it to you even now but sometimes you just feel feel it feminines don't you intuitively those feelings are there okay because you have those feelings and you know that it's not just you basically and he wants you to trust him he wants him to trust and have faith in him that he will be the man that you deserve that he will come forward when the time is right towards you. And if there's any third parties involved, these situations need to be resolved here. You know, their energy is getting in the way of your connection. You need to clear and cleanse. Even if you're not with somebody, you may still be energetically attached to them. So it's time to use Archangel Michael with his Sword of Truth. You can use him to cut ties and attachments. I've got a meditation somewhere on, on my channel where you can use him to cut cords and attachments with people in your life um, and situations and negative things that have happened to you to help you move on and free your energy. He wants you to know that his love is all around you. He's sending you love, okay? He's sending you love every day. He wants you to know that he is loving you from afar and he hopes to be with you soon and he, he is sending you that love. He may not have said it, but he's sending it to you. Yeah, this is true love again. This is true love for him. Once in a lifetime, you know, when you kiss, fireworks went off in his head or when you made love fireworks you know the lot you know the passion the desire everything is there okay so this love is there for you so what does he want to say the minute we met i wanted to rip off your clothes <laughs> and take you to bed did you know so you felt that 
sexual attraction straight away. I'm working on myself, on my self-love, my self-esteem, because I really want you, baby. You are the girl of my dreams. So, yeah, he's doing that work on himself. That's all you can ask. There is something about your voice. I find it hard to resist. It soothes and excites me and it gives me bliss. So he really does love your voice. It really does turn him on in some way. Meeting you brought up some old hurts and I built up a wall to protect my heart. But I do want to protect it. I don't want to protect it anymore. So he does want to put those walls down and come forward towards you. I know I never told you this, but I do have deep feelings. I effing love you. So he really does have those deep feelings. What else does he want to say? Sweet, sweet desires when I think of you. There are so many things that I want to do to show you my passion and desire for you. The feel of your skin next to mine, it's so damn fine. I want to make you always mine. The sound of your voice does something to me. It soothes my soul, but it turns me on so. So yeah, <laughs> the voice is a big thing for him. I cannot tell you in words how much I love you. Let me show you in the bedroom. <laughs> so, you know, if you have been intimate, that could be how he's been showing you his feelings. So we're just going to get a few tarot messages. So what does the masculine want to end up with here? What's the masculine want to say here? Got the Ace of Staves, which is the Ace of Wands. So he has those passions and he does want to take action soon and come towards you okay and and express that passion to you ten of coins he wants that abundance with you he wants that happy ever after that family situation that solid home life he wants victory with you he wants to hold you once again in his arms hold you tell you how much he loves you he wants to celebrate with you celebrate your love together have a celebration and he has a cup full of love for you, you know, which he wants to present to you when he comes forward. Okay, so you're, they're the messages from the masculine. So now we're going to look at the feminine messages. So these are the feminine messages to a masculine. So how does she see him? Communication. <coughs> this um, god here, Hermes, he always reminds me of a firefighter. <laughs> Maybe your masculine is a fireman of some sort, you know, very fit here anyway, very muscular. But anyway, it's about communication. So you're hoping for communication from your masculine. There could be a lack of communication right now. Sacrifice. So you, you feel that your masculine feels that this love, he has to sacrifice something in his life. That's the feeling you're getting. Which isn't the case, really, because you just, when you love someone, you just bring them into your life, don't you? And you, you compromise around that. So I don't know why he's feeling that. We've got love here. So, yeah, this is, you know, the man you love. You have these passionate feelings of love and desire here. Which is obviously mirroring the masculine. And we've got travel, and you're prepared to travel. You're prepared to move forward. You, maybe you want to travel with your masculine in the future, travel the world, you know, travel through life together, okay? So we've got curiosity. So you're very curious to know more about your masculine, okay? Maybe you didn't have time to get to know him very deeply when you connected um, and you want to know more about him. You know there's a lot more layers and levels and you really want to get to know him more. You want to have the, that time and intimate moments with him so you can share your life stories your heart what's in your heart your passions your hopes and dreams for the future and you want a commitment you do want to commit to this connection and to yourself you're committing to yourself right now you are working on yourself you're doing the healing needed and you're committing to that to make yourself the better version of you but ultimately, you do want the commitment with your masculine moving forward. You do want that. It doesn't necessarily have to mean a marriage commitment, but it's just that commitment to be together, to be each other's number one person in your lives. She wants to let the, the masculine know that she can lead the way. A lot of the feminines are further down the path on this spiritual journey, this twin flame journey. 
and they've been through a lot of the rocky patches i mean there's still rocky patches it's a it's an ongoing process where we you know we hit something and then we have to do the healing but she's quite happy to lead the way to guide her masculine through this and i'm sure a lot of you are saying Sorry about that, that was my door entry, I live in a flat. <laughs> Every time it goes off, it's right by the table where I do the readings and I was in the zone and I nearly jumped out of my skin. <laughs> it makes me jump. Right, let's get back. So the feminines feel they're in a bit of a void at the moment because there could be this lack of communication, you know, lack of contact, separation. You feel a bit in a void. You know, you're in that in between stage but again it's like this image is, well, reminds me of like a baby in the womb as well like that time of growing of nurturing and we need to do these things on our own and the healing work that's needed we need to do it on our own in our in our own space and then we can be born again a much better version of ourselves so we've got man holding a coin so she does see a masculine as somebody that does focus on the material world quite a lot. Somebody that likes to have their financial stability, which isn't a bad thing. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. But if it's to the detriment of everyone, everything else and everyone else in your life and your your main focus is your work and that and there's no balance in your life, that is something that needs to be worked on. Yeah, I mean... She could be indecisive as well, the feminine, because the masculine obviously has not made a decision. He's not in contact with her. She's not sure what's going on. So she feels at a crossroads. She's not sure whether to just, you know, be in her own space or whether she does want to branch out and maybe meet new people at this time. So she's at a crossroads right now. But she does feel the masculine as a soulmate is possibly twin flame connection. She feels that deep connection. You know, as soon as you met, she felt that connection. You know, when your eyes meet, that's normally where the souls recognize each other, don't they? So, you know, it's a very special connection. So she's confused, you know. She's confused. She's at that crossroads. She's not sure which way to go. She's in a bit of a fog. That looks like a bit of a fog in her brain, in her heart. She's not really sure. You know where she stands with the masculine at this time because in the 3d world he's possibly not told her anything but she feels this is destiny you know she feels this connection is destiny they were destined to meet they could have come from very different backgrounds different countries different religious backgrounds different belief systems you know could be absolutely so different and if you look in the cards you've got the black and the white so to me that's like the yin and the yang as well having that balance so once you find a balance within yourself you can attract that back into your masculine so feminines just keep doing your work confidence is your key to success so this is beautiful because we we've just come out of leo season um into virgo now so still much and we had the lion's gate energy which was very powerful back at the beginning of august I can't believe how quickly the time is going. And confidence is your key to success. So just have confidence in whatever you're doing in your life, in your world, um, moving forward. She has confidence in her masculine, by the way. And she's trying to look at the bigger picture. And if you look in the, the moon, it's like a, an arrow. And to me, I'm just, and the colour of the moon is like Cupid's arrow. You know, Cupid's arrow has struck here. And this is bigger than the two of you. This is a, a thing that affects a lot more people. The end of a tough cycle approaches. So you and the masculine are coming to the end of this really tough cycle. You know, we are coming out of cycles. It's been a very interesting astrological year and very interesting, you know, on the world stage in, a, in not necessarily in a good way, I know. It's been very tough for, for everybody on the planet, really. I don't think anyone's escaped uh, from the impacts of what's going on. So it's good to know that we're coming to the end of this tough cycle, okay? And it's got full moon in Capricorn, and Capricorn is December time, isn't it? So 
hopefully by the end of the year things will be a lot smoother for all of us so the feminine knows that she needs to love herself first and her own self-respect makes her more romantically attractive so she's had to work on self-esteem issues for herself you know she may not have been in a good place in that respect when she first met the masculine and and the same for him because you you mirror each other as well so there's having to be forgiveness and learning you know you're you're learning through this connection about yourselves and you need to heal and release the past and not just the past related to this masculine this is the past in the whole of your past in this lifetime but you probably had many lifetimes together as this is a soulmate connection and you've agreed to help each other's souls grow in the time that you spend on the planet and if you can see here there's like angels in the background so this is divinely guided connection there are angels around you to guide and assist you at any time just call on them okay so yeah this is a time to let go of control issues you know you can't control things it, it's you know you just got to go with the flow it says allow this situation to unfold naturally i mean planet earth we have time but time doesn't actually exist in the universe because everything exists at the same time in the universe but we have this on earth to help us cope with things in the world so yeah let go of control issues and let the situation unfold naturally she wants the masculine to know the only thing that is real is love and everything else you know doesn't matter love is important love is the highest energy in the universe and she feels this love connection and if you look around that tree there's some beautiful doves of peace and there's the two of you there looking up at the earth it's beautiful beautiful images and she wants the masculine to know that actions speak loudly express your love through actions she needs some actions i mean Yes, you can speak. I don't think the masculines have even even said something much to their feminines, to be honest. But actions speak louder than words, don't they? You know, the proof is in the pudding. You know, back your words up with action. If you're going to say something, back it up with action. Prove it. Because sometimes we need to see that. We need action. We need you to take action in this connection. So what does she want to say to a masculine? I know you do not mean to hurt me, as hurt people are hurt others, and I want to help you heal. So she wants to help her masculine heal from this pain in his past. If you could have one wish, what would it be? Mine would be to love you for all eternity. So she does recognise this connection as well. I cry myself to sleep as you're not there next to me. I want to hold you all night, baby, to smell the scent of you there. So she really misses that physical connection with her masculine. She really wants to have that physical connection, you know, skin on skin, holding each other, kissing, holding each other. Places, faces, people you've known, but do you feel the traces of me in your soul? So I think that's a recognition of previous lifetimes that they've spent together. Do you want to know a secret? I want to tell you mine. I've loved you for, for forever, from before until the end of time. And again, it's recognition that this is a, you know, connect, a, a relationship that's gone on through, through time, space, you know, all different time, space, places, really. I love your passion, the strength of you. I like you can overpower me if you wish. I love that I am your favourite dish. So she does like the strength of her masculine. Please pleasure me through all through the night. Unlock my passions and love me with all your might, day and every night. One look from you and I just melt, you stole my heart. You lit that spark inside of me, don't leave me in the dark. So the feminines do feel in the dark right now, they don't know what's going on with the masculines. I dream of you at night, being in my bed, we make love all night, we cannot get enough of each other. This fire will not go out. So she wants that physical connection, you know, with a masculine, she's missing that physical connection. So let's get some tarot. So what, how does the feminine see this? Does she want to happen? Feminine moving forward. She 
she does feel this connection is very abundant would be very abundant for the two of them okay not just in a financial way but you know in a emotional and loving way transformation she knows her masculine is going for the transformation so she you know she is patient with that she wants him to know she has so much desire you know she just wants to hold him in her arms and feel the feel the bodies next to each other you know be close together like that she wants that victory she wants that victory of her masculine she wants him to come charging in on his white horse <laughs> Hmm. you know she's independent she's she's starting to love herself she has love for herself and she wants that happy ever after with her masculine you know she's happy in her own independence but she does want that other cup she does want the ultimate of a cup and she wants him to come forward you know she wants him to come forward she wants him to take that action as we said actions speak louder than words don't they She wants her masculine to know that she has so much passion for him, so much fire, so much desire. And she wants him to come forward and show him how much he cares for her passionately and lovingly. Okay, so there are your messages. So thank you for watching. So please like, share, subscribe, comment, and I will see you in my next video. Many blessings. Take care.